Okay guys, today we're going to make a little hatch here in the back of uh, Olive. You can see this hole here, all the dents and it's all and so forth and so on. Now Olive had a uh, power supply was plugged in way up high on the other side. I'll show you that repair later. And this was actually the cutout for the water tank. Since we're doing uh, olive the way we want to do olive, we're going to take the water tank off the back, which to my opinion, the water tank should never be on the back anyway, just for weight distribution purposes. But we're taking it off the back. We're moving the electrical um, supply to here, and then we're going to put the water supply up in the front on the left side or the driver's side of the uh, air conditioner. So what I want to do is I want to show you. Now, the only thing I'm going to use to measure this out is this right here. And I'm going to stay square with these lines because square, square is there, baby. Square is there. You want to keep it square to the siding. And all I'm going to do in this video is show you how to cut out what you're looking for. Cut out the square. Okay, that hole all the way to there. Sorry. We're going to put, we're going to make a uh, recessed hatch where this actually will, you'll have to put your hand inside and the plug will just pull out about four inches. That's it. It's not going to be a long cord going off to nowhere land. Um, but what we'll do here, and I should have had my four inch grinder all set up, but I did not because, well, it's Monday. It is Monday. Now you can see I'm following this line for the top and following this line for the bottom. And I'm eliminating all of that stuff right there. This doesn't have to be perfect. And I'll show you when I do the other. Let me grab my four inch grinder. Bear with me for 33 seconds and away we'll go. regular Ray Rayner setup we got here today. Now, if you don't know who Ray Rayner is, go to WGN Chicago and check out Ray. He was Mr. Wonderful in the day. Now I'm using a four inch angle grinder to cut this out. It's a real simple process. Um, safety glasses, Mr. Safety. This four inch angle grinder I have here is a skill. It's not an expensive one. You do not need to go and spend three hundred dollars on a four inch for on an angle grinder. I think this might be a four and a half. Actually, it doesn't matter. Um, if you're just going to be doing one camper or two campers or just a backup tool around the house, hey, there's nothing wrong with a Master Force for twenty nine ninety five. Um, you're going to use it a million and three times, or you're going to use it six times. It's going to work every bit as good, and it's a lot cheaper. Now, I find a lot of my tools I buy secondhand at consignment stores because. Uh, you know, what's the point of paying new prices for something you're going to use six times? Anyway, here we go. I'm going to line this up. We're going to cut this out. And uh, you take a look at the mess that we won't have when we get started here. I just want to stop here quickly and show you. Notice I have a bad right hand, so I can't do a whole lot with it other than pull the trigger. But notice how I'm using my fingers to, as a guide to steady this. I'm not just like this trying to keep it straight. I'm finding a comfortable spot. If you need to wear gloves, go ahead. I don't feel anything in my hands anymore, so I don't even worry about it anymore. But what I'm doing is before I start my cut, you'll notice I've got my hand down here and I'm using it as a guide and that will help me stop at the end of my cut and plunge in without going past it.
all of that is gone. This is what we'll take out. This will be our template, this outside square, to make our recessed box. Our recessed box will be inside here, inside here, inside here, but outside here. So any water that runs down will go over this bottom instead of going behind it. So that's my video, a big old can of circle to square. I hope this finds you well. God bless you one and all.